Okay, this is Dave Castagno with Screamer Magazine and Radio Screamer, and I'm here partying with the boys from LA Guns here at uh, House of Blues West Hollywood for their record release party. Guys, how are you? Doing good. Awesome. Good. Okay, you guys want to just introduce yourselves? I'm Steve Riley. From Boston? That's right, Celts. <laughs> Drummer extraordinaire. Stacy Blades. From LA Guns. Yeah, come on, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Uh, the great from, North. From Toronto, and then I'm from Florida to the LA. So. It's my train. Scotty, the good looking one. I'm Joe Elliott. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing here right now. I played a gig earlier tonight and my band came off. So, guys, Hollywood Forever. Um, <laughs> Stacey, I talked to you in January. Yeah, now. We talked about the, show, the album, and you guys are right on schedule. Just starting to write. Well, no, we were in pre-production uh, pre already. Right. And you told me yeah. it was going to be out about May or June. And yeah, we started recording in February, and um, just it was magic. You know, everything really took shape in those five days of production. Everybody was really, really amazing. So, Take the door down. Oh, Lewis. Yeah. oh my gosh! What an honor. Now, guys, um, Steve, <laughs> Steve knows, um, but Stace, I mean, Screamer Magazine's history goes back to 1988 with LA Guns. February of 88, it was our third or fourth cover. We had LA Guns, and you had that cover two other times. That's amazing. Big, big yeah. fan of yeah. you guys. Yeah, cool. Great. And uh, cool. so we're just talking about the new record. Yeah. Question I want to, I have for you, Phil, is what do you attribute your longevity to? And I just mean, you guys are touring constantly, and I see that you're overseas a lot, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, Latin America. What is it that keeps fans coming out to you guys? It's music. It's just music. It's, it's, uh, it's what we want, it's we, what we want, it's what we do, and uh, what people expect from us. And uh, we just keep proving with every release that, you know, we, we are, it can be contemporary, but still old school as well, you know, we don't need to add, like, turntables, any kind of, like, you know, synthesizers or, or, or auto-tune or anything like that. It's just, it's, Listen, you know, it's a good song's a good song, whether it was written in 69 or 2012. And, and to speak to that, I gotta tell you, my favorite line in the whole record is, she's a stone cold fox. Stone cold fox. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, like, I, I love it. Yeah, you know, I like using words, you know, like everyday words. And I like it to, you know, like, I don't want it to all be generic songs. You know, the, 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 the rock and roll vocabulary is very narrow, you know, they really, you can't, like we tried to, to, to come up with some new ideas for, for, for lyrics and stuff, but really basically it's, you've got to keep it pretty simple, but every now and then something, throwing something new that works, and, and Stone Cold Fox, or uh, Marshmallow Lips, or, <laughs> um, uh, Talking about my leg. <laughs> Riley. Yeah, yeah. No, we had so much fun making this record, and we, we, we're such a tight unit. We, we've been, you know, touring and playing hundreds of shows a year, right? And uh, we just took that discipline uh, and, and put it into a record. Uh, you know, we um, I do a radio show called Radio Streamer. It's internet based. We're syndicated on 28 stations, both terrestrial and internet. Yeah. And I'll tell you, we have listeners from the most obscure Eastern European yeah. countries that go out and see LA Guns, they send me photos, and they absolutely love you guys. Yes. Right. Um, now, you talk about vocals, auto-tune, all the new gizmos and gadgets, but one thing that I always loved about LA Guns records, and the same with the Cult, is the vocals. The cut and dry, the pure vocals. We don't we don't Very use we, we we don't use any effects on the vocals, you know, with a little bit of reverb, you know. Yeah, auto tune my bass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got such a great voice and he's a he got a unique voice. There's nobody that really sounds I, I would much rather, you know, instead of relying on a machine, see if I can come up with a, a sound. 
Right. It's, 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 you know, it's really cool. Like his on the first track, Hollywood Forever. He's, he's it's it's a it's lot different. It sounds it's a lot really different. Really aggressive, and that's right. what's what's cool. Is like he, he has different styles, and um, you know, he can make a sound. Land in the pool. And um, you know, that's one of the great things. Like you write great songs, but it's the sound. I I played that track for I mean a long time. Diehard L.A. Guns fan. I said, that's Phil. <laughs> I'm guessing so. It's L.A. Guns, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's Stacy's song, and, and it's it's entirely his creation. And, um, I, I wouldn't think of, of writing a song, uh, coming up with, with lyrics and, and, and a singing style that way. So he showed me how he wanted me to sing it. So but that's you why. Put your own little touch yeah, on that too, yeah, but that's that's why it's so different because it's it's his song. It's his, so I'm interpreting. And you're pliable and shapeable. And yeah, I like, to, I like to think so. I mean, I want it. I want it. You know, the, yeah. the objective. Yeah. We're always stretched a little bit. Let's try it. If it works, it works. We weren't it afraid to do things. We didn't have a lot of time. We had a month to record it. So my suggestion was everybody come in with five songs, whether they write them or their covers, or, or and so that would be twenty to, for us to choose from. Right. And then we could whittle it down, and, and that's what we did. And, uh, now the is is it Negra Aranya? Aranya Negra. Aranya Negra. Yeah, that's a cover. That's right, right. That's a band that I discovered when I was down in Argentina last year, uh, and I just loved the song, and I thought, yeah, I could probably sing this with a bit, a lot of help. And um, <laughs> he's bilingual. Yeah, I, I saw that, man. How dare you? Better bilingual than yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. At least it wasn't French. Though, right? <laughs> we didn't sing it. Yeah, no, no, no French. But, uh, yeah, it was a challenge. You're not from that part of Canada. No, God. Right. You know, the South American fans are so enthusiastic. If, if by chance that enthusiastic do, is actually yeah. a nice word. Yeah. If they, if it does, you know, if we do hear, and I just thought of going down there and playing a big room with them, just bouncing. I, I just, they do. Singing along, I, I, I'm, I, I, that's what I want. That's why we did it. Right. I, I came in. I said, "Please, can we, can we be huge in South America?" I mean, it's open up some new doors. Yeah. yeah. Now We've conquered everywhere else. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah. a little. Too. That's right. Grimsby. So, so you guys are leaving the Fresno, <laughs> Pismo Beach. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are leaving tomorrow. Early. Yeah. Well, actually leaving Tonight. this morning. Okay. We're and so where you are you headed? St. Louis. Flight to St. Louis. Show tomorrow night. And, and we're going to flying to Milwaukee and yeah. then over to Minneapolis. So it's going to be a little bit of a, a bit of a hole. Right. There'll we'll be tears. At the end. It's going to be yes. warm too. Yes. This is cake for us. Now you guys, um, you also just recently confirmed the Monsters of Rock cruise, right? Just, yeah. Perfect. Did you do that last year? No. no. You've never done it before. No, this is a first What kind of cruise. gig is that, man? Well, you know, it, this is awesome because, you know, the, the, same, the same people that... that uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. People requested us. They went to the promoter and said, "Look, hey, we want LA Guns. We want LA Guns." And it's the same people that said they wanted us at M3 as well. Right. So it's really amazing. That, you know, we have fans that are like, you know, getting us gigs, right? Insisting, you know, finding out where the Facebook page is, for relevant page pages and, and, and just pitching us. The revolution. And that's that's two it? big shows, and our fans have got us. Thank you, fans. Now. Um, you get a beer Scotty's going to get beer. Now, um, you stay in touch with, with some of the bands from, from back in the day? Fast Puss Cat, Bang Tango. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we play a lot of shows. So yeah. Of the shows festivals. Row, yeah. And, uh, yeah, all good friends. You hear Skid Row might be getting back together now. Yeah. Oh, they've been talking about that. I doubt it. You don't I mean, I think it would be great if they did, but I'm not holding my breath. So, the record, where can our listeners, viewers find it? Well, you can go on iTunes and you can get a sample of it, of each track, and then you can buy each song individually. You can go on Amazon and, and order it online. Vinyl uh, Yeah, vinyl. Oh, vinyl? Oh, yeah, nice. vinyl. And you can go to Amoeba uh, in, awesome. in town That's here. Um, and they had, uh, I went there last night and they had two virgin vinyl copies, shrink wrapped. 20 bucks. Next to Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, um, man, alphabetically, there you go, man. And we will be selling them at shows as well. So, um, yeah, there's plenty of, it's I mean, exciting. You know, we're really excited. 
guys, I can't wait for tonight's show. It's been such a pleasure to have you and Phil, you especially, baby. <laughs> this guy I've seen, man. Yeah, this guy, yeah, Nam, yeah. we spent some time together. Is that your girl out there? One of them. Oh, one of them. Yeah. Okay, all your girls. Okay. Anyhow, this is LA Guns at their record release party Jeez. June yeah. 6, 2012, yeah. at the House of Blues, West Hollywood. Hollywood oh, forever, baby. Right. Okay. Can we